Okay, so I just hiked up the stairs. They, I do want to point out the stairs have a very nice height tread. Um, you know, they just feel good. They're not too steep. They're not too shallow. Really nice there. So out the primary bedroom. Also has a screen door here. Oh, let's see. There we go. Fully painted, nice all wrap. The deck goes all the way around from the garage, all the way around the house to here. And then on the other side, there's a matching one. They do not connect, um, but you can see the privacy you get here from your neighbors. And so you said lounge chairs. I think these are the two chairs you're talking about. The only access to this deck is through the primary um, bedroom. But look at that exquisite. I mean, just 300, well, not 360, I don't know. 100 degree view. Just absolutely beautiful and a very short walk. Very private. There is the house there. And then there's a house over there someone's doing some work on, I can hear. And then, of course, the neighbor right here. And I did want to point out that there is a chimney attached to the primary bedroom's uh, stove as well. So that at one point was wood burning and has now been converted to electric. I just keep looking around for anything I see other than... You know a couple spider webs and some pine needles on the roof and I'm just not seeing much here okay so back through here and then we will head out down to the lower um, the lower deck off the dining room that has the way down to the front the backyard out to the beach so through So right off the dining room is this great seating area here. And this connects out to the front porch. And then there are stairs down to, and I think one of your questions was, what is this? This is definitely sand that they keep raked. So this gives you an idea. There's bedroom number two, the one with the bedroom downstairs. And then this is the bedroom with the chairs in it. Here's a whole view of the house. There's the neighbors. And then there's the neighbors on that side. And if you're up for it, you could skip this part of the video, but I'm gonna take a walk because it's too beautiful of a day not to go take a walk all the way down to at least the top of the hill so you can get an idea. There is no wind, which is incredible. So I will warn you, being this close to the Pacific Ocean, it's gonna get windy and stormy especially in the winter but some of the times that's when i love the ocean the best is to watch the storms roll in over the ocean so but you will definitely get some wind but not on a beautiful day like today it is pretty still and sparkly as we call it on the coast crest this little knoll hill here which will keep some of the wind down as well having that break tide is in right now I think high tide was is in about an hour So there you go. 
there is an, a, a much bigger path going down there. Ooh. And then there's the house right there. Of course, once you figure it out, you didn't take the detour like I did. You would have followed this path all the way. I didn't see anywhere for the public beach access down here. Driving by, it was pretty much all homes all the way down Hawk. So I don't think you're going to get much foot traffic down this little secondary path that now I'm on. So I'm going to say it's going to be a maybe three minute walk, you know, if you're not in amazing shape. I don't know. I think I'm in decent shape. I'm going to call it a two to three minute stroll. Oh, okay. Well, getting down is going to take a little energy, but that's okay. But yeah, just miles and miles. Well, a couple miles of just beautiful, beautiful beach. Okay, I am going to end this video here and then I'll pick up a second, uh, my third video of driving back into Nesquin itself to give you an idea.